What's up, y'all? It's D and Keys, and we are back with another video. So, as you can tell by the title, today we're about to do our Q and A because we got one thousand subscribers. subscribers. Freaking lit! Woo! We are so happy. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Again, like we always say, we appreciate you guys for supporting us. We thank you so much. We love doing what we do. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. We doing a video for y'all. Like, yeah, we real love real. doing what we do. And we cannot appreciate you guys more than... I mean, than thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for liking, for disliking. Everything, we appreciate it. And it's only up from here. And we're taking full responsibility. Like, we about to start grinding even more than we have been. Like... The content is going to get better. The quality yes. is going to get better. We got some things that we're working on. Yes. But we're working on all of that. So, y'all stay tuned. Keep supporting. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. Catch up on all of our old videos. We have some awesome content, some good yes. vacations. We got a few pranks. We got snack crates. We got all that good stuff. All right. So, we pulled some questions. I pulled questions from um, my Facebook um Instagram. Instagram. Uh, That's it. Facebook, Facebook and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I don't, we're not really active on Twitter, but I think we're gonna start being active on Twitter soon. My Twitter is so dead. Like I yeah, used like it since I really. High school. I mean, I have a lot of people on Twitter that I literally was like met like from different parts of the United States, and it's just mm. like. I, I think know. that era of us died. Like people are like kind of creepy now. You remember how you used to going you now and meet people yeah like, it used to be kind of lit but yeah. you can't really do that now that's true all right y'all let, let's get into it <laughs> all right what's what's our favorite movies <sighs> okay i have a lot of favorite movies i love crooklyn if you guys know what i'm talking about comment down below crooklyn is my movie i had the vcr and all like it was Bosses. literally our favorite movie. And any Disney movie, really. Curriculum and Disney movies. And, like, every movie, like, Parent Trap, um, just a lot. House Party, just a lot of movies. I love movies, so every movie is my favorite <laughs> movie. <laughs> um, I don't really know how to put this. I don't watch movies, like... But what was your favorite movie, if you had to pick? Because mm. you really don't watch movies. <clears throat> what was my favorite movie? Hmm. Baby Boy. Baby Boy. Yeah. That, gotta be, that gotta be my favorite yeah. one. Yeah. She loved Baby Boy. Alright. It says, how did you and your partner meet? How did we meet? Hmm. Bosses, you should know this. How did we meet? I mean, we mean, met man? like partner wise. We met back again after she got out of base. Well, we knew of each other. In yeah, high since high school, so we knew of each other, and we were friends while I was in high school, and she was out of high school. Um, we didn't really connect like that in high school, but no, but out of high school, she approached me. And went to talk to me as a friend, though. But then I, I am told her to hit me up whenever she can come by my best friend house. And then that was that. So we also have a video of how we met. Hopefully, Deanna can put this somewhere at the end of this video. Yes. So you can go watch that video. But yeah, we have a video on how we met. So I think that's. I think we have a couple videos actually. I probably have to like swim through because we have a Q and A. Nah, we have how we got together part one. Okay. We have a part one and a part two, so Okay. I'ma try to get Deanna to put them like this at the end. Okay. Something like that. Alright. What movie scared you as kids? Oh. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I ain't never I never really grew up like we didn't watch scary movies like that growing up, so I can't really say, like, something scared me growing up. I mean, I'm scared of dogs, but that's not really a movie, so I don't know. 
So I will say there used to be um, a movie on Disney <coughs> Channel. This is crazy too. It was on Disney Channel back in the day, like 2000s, early 2000s. It was called Don't Look Under the Bed. And it was like a scary monster. What the hell? A scary monster. If you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below. It's called Don't Look Under the Bed. It was kids and everything. It was like a kid movie. It was just a scary movie on Disney Channel. Don't look under the bed. Yeah, don't look under. I'll show you. Don't oh look under the bed. God. And then uh, the other one is when I got older with Jeepers Creepers. I hate that. But other than that, that be getting me though, cause low key you be trying to get me to watch scary movies. Like being that I didn't grow up watching them, it's like, ripping me to want to watch them. Yeah, and I'm scared of scary movies, but then I want to watch them. So it's a love hate relationship. Yeah. What's your favorite restaurant? Cheesecake Factory. That's yours? Yeah. Um, my favorite restaurant is the kitchen when Deanna fries me chicken. <laughs> I love when Deanna cooks. So for real. sweet. What do you know now as a couple you wish you knew when you were at the start of your relationship? Oh. I always tell her I wish I would have like known how she was as a person, meaning her how she acts like a baby a lot. <coughs> you act like a baby a lot. Very needy, very selfish. She's starting to change that though. She's starting to change mm -hmm. that, and I appreciate that. But she's very selfish. Um, What else? I think that's it. There's other things. I just can't name it right now. But mm, One thing I wish... Oh. One thing I wish that I knew about Deanna before was... Um, I feel like she cares about what other people think too much. And I wish she would just be strong as my wife, as my woman, to just, you know, ignore other shit. But other than that, the good... The bad, like, I, I kind of don't want her to be too perfect because, like, if if you like somebody too much, you're not really getting to know them. You got to really know their flaws. Like, in the morning, I just, you know, we know each other's patterns. Like, when Deanna get up, she got to have her time on her phone. She don't want me to come over there and bother her. Like, it's just little things like that. Once you get to know your partner, you can try to, like, figure out, like, okay, I'm messing up their daily routine. Like, Deanna know, don't bother me at night when I'm sleeping, but she still be doing it. Because <laughs> she bothered me in the morning, well, afternoon, when I want to wake up. Like, right now, we're probably going to stay up till 4 or something. We really be watching. I'm tired now because I literally just got done doing homework, and it stressed me the heck out, so... Me. We really be staying up because we be watching this show and Deanna be going in on the people. Border security, y'all. Watch it <laughs> on Netflix. They be pissing me off. I'm sorry, but they really make me mad. Why? Like, it's making me not want to go to a foreign country because they sitting there looking intimidated. Like, if they pull me over, I'm going to go ahead and tell them, I already watched your show. I know how y'all are. Don't sit here and try to do me and like this that. Is why I, we be this up ain't going to be the person. You're going to have a bad day when you mess with me. Okay. We never really watched the show because Deanna, she be just, she'll take it from here Ooh. and go all the way up here. Cause it crazy. Um, all right, wait, what was the, what was the last question? Was it what you knew, what you knew about? Okay. Next question. What's your best memory together? Um, I'll say the cruise, like the cruise, like I really felt like we got to have that. A long time and it's like it was her first time going on the cruise so i appreciated that there were no phones no text messages no nothing even though we i was were... like so eager to get to a phone because i think she was too though even though she was kind of saying like you know i was like let's find the internet for it let's find the internet for it oh my god we will never go on a cruise without getting the internet without plan it. for you because i mean i was i was trying to be on it but it's like i would check mine and i would be ready to go like you wanted to stop sit there check all of your stuff check in with every single person because this was my first cruise and i wanted everybody to see what i was doing you gotta give me that though okay like okay, you know you. but anyway what was your best memory? Uh, my best memory I'm going to take it back. When we went to Myrtle Beach with Nisha and Jalen, like, I like how we, like. Hey, how you going to tell me? Tell them. Oh, sorry. I like how we were, like, <coughs> like really bonding. 
That was the first trip I think I've ever... No. My best memory is that when I came... That probably was my worst trip. Yeah, because of the that hotel. hotel was disgusting, yeah, okay. Bro. I just like when we spend time together. Anything we do when we spend t- time together, like when we go out. But I'm going to take it before then. Um... We went to... I just had on a freaking tip of my tongue. Um. Oh, when I went and stayed at the Bears with you. That was my best memory. You lucky I don't in this video right now. Oh, my. Y'all, like, when she asked me to be her girlfriend, not, she never, like, asked me to be her wife. But, like, she did. But, okay, we're not even talking about that. When she asked me to be her oh, girlfriend, like, God. it was planned. Like, the whole Bears had... Um, what it, what was it? Uh, candles. Oh my it had God. candles. It had rose petals. It had chocolates. Oh chocolate covered strawberries. Would you? That like, she didn't even eat. Like, bro. Yeah, it I was like edible. so nice. Like it was really nice. Oh. Bro, I was so nervous though. Like so that was nice. Crazy. But yeah. Um, what annoys what annoys you the most about each other? A lot of things. My main thing that annoys me about you is like you're very snappy, and I hate when you tell me to shut up because it's like <laughs> I'm not a child, I'm an adult. That has to be the most thing that pisses me off the most. I hate when I'm playing with her, but then when she don't want to play no more, she gets mad. But then when I want to play or I don't want to play no more, she keeps playing with me and expect me not to get mad at her. Bah. That annoys me. Bye, be honest. <laughs> that then, really annoys me. We're the only people that's gonna understand what that means. Bye. Okay. Well. Um. What is your favorite thing about marriage? I'm not. I'm not gonna say about our marriage because I just love our bond and I love that we can talk about anything, like anything. We can talk about literally anything. Like I can never keep anything away from her. Like we, the trust. The honesty on my end. I don't know about her end. I mean, she don't tell me anything. Like I said before, I know a lot of things that she has not told me or whatever. But it's like nine times out of ten, our bond is like inseparable. Like we're just a spoon coons. Um, I'll say, let me see. My favorite thing It's a lot of things. But yeah. I'll say my favorite thing is, I don't know, like. To me, I feel like it's special when you can make love with somebody versus just having sex with them. So, I appreciate that part. Um, this question got repeated. How did you both, how did you meet? Um, somebody said, how do you feel about the partial government shutdown? Um, it's full of crap. Like, Donald Trump is starting to be like the... Um, Adolf Hitler feel like like he's trying to turn this into a dictatorship feel like like he is literally the worst president ever he is the worst president it's sad to be in a country with him being the president it's very sickening I don't like him this is my opinion um he isn't doing anything good for the country as a whole Regardless if he is doing certain things that I feel like it is going up, like the military. But he's the worst president ever. Literally the worst president. I've never been so sick to my stomach because of this man. But that's how I feel. Um, I really don't like to talk about politics unless I'm at school. Because like, I love getting <laughs> into debates. But as far as I feel about the shutdown, I do feel sorry for the families that are affected genuinely. But this is going to sound like really cliche. I'm kind of happy to a certain degree that people that voted for Donald Trump, he's not living up to the perfect, Mm -hmm. perfect little man that they thought that he was going to do because he promised these people that voted for him that I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And he left you guys high and dry because some of y'all might be watching this video. And it's like, to me, with anything in life, I mean, Rick Ross even said it. We got to destroy it before we elevate. So we might be having to go through some things as a country to get further ahead. And I'm just a firm believer, like, 
the storm will last, but we can always outlive the storm. Like, the storm has to end sometime. We so, need a woman to be president. Do you know that this world, who run the world? Girls, for real. But it's like, too, um, with the shutdown, I feel like, too, this is going to open a new can of worms. Like, if it doesn't stop or it doesn't end quickly, like, people will start. I don't even know how to put this into, like, lamest terms, but people will do whatever they got to do to feed their family, whether that's robbing, killing, because you're that's not going to tell me. If people got little kids and their kids are hungry, nobody wants to hear that their child is hungry or they can't do this or people not going to show up to work because, for me, if I had a job and I was working somewhere and I wasn't getting paid, I'm not coming to work. Like, no. And then the fact that people are having to sit up here and... They mortgages behind. They don't got money for their car payments. Like our bank that we have, like they're trying to work with people, but I'm trying to think about the world as a whole. Mm -hmm. People that's on food stamps, like every if it affects way more than you know what I was thinking in the beginning. My grandma had to tell me about it, so it's like I really feel for the people that are affected, and it's like I complain a lot, honestly. So it's like for me to complain about the smallest thing like, oh, I don't have something that I want right here, right now. And it's people that don't even know where their next meal going to come from. Like, it's pretty bad to think about like that. So I just hope that whoever is being affected, they're finding alternate ways to get what they need until they get their, you know, money and stuff like that. So, um, what's your song? What? Huh? What's our song? Um, Open Your Eyes by Duele. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know the song, it's off of, it's a sample of, I don't know his name. Me neither. But uh, I think it's called Open Your Eyes. It's a sample by someone who I don't even like it. the sample. I like Duele version, honestly. Yeah. But it's off his album, Sketches of a Man. And that was the last question. It was? Yeah. Really? I didn't get that many questions. Let me see. I feel like you got more. For real. Oh, wow. It really was. Okay. Well, well we appreciate you guys. Uh, I preach you guys. <laughs> we, we appreciate you guys, guys for the 1,000 subscribers and watching this video. Again, we cannot be more excited. On the road to 2,000 subscribers now. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. Thank you guys so much. It's, it's like, like. I don't know. I'm not going to say I didn't know that we can get it. But it's like to actually see it in numbers with our name yeah. next to it. Like That just makes me want to grind so much harder because it's like. I don't know. It's it's a bigger purpose while we're doing this. I feel like I'm here to inspire. I'm here to like motivate anybody. Mm -hmm. If you got a dream, do your dream. Right now we the underdog, but one day we're gonna be holding the one billion subscribers plot. Like it's little things like that I can see in the future. And I, Deanna will tell you once I get something in my mind, like I'm annoying about it. Like I'm very adamant. If I want something, I go get it. So. Y'all just be on the lookout, stay tuned, and we got some stuff that we're working up. on for y'all. Coming up very soon, actually. Probably this week. But yeah. Oh yeah, also expect more consistency with us. We're, we're working on the logistics Schedule. of it all. Scheduled videos as far as like what dates we're dropping. Mm -hmm. um, just more consistency and more balance with everything. This entire time, up into a thousand subscribers, we've been like here, there, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like we're trying to get like on a set schedule so we can get you guys used to like actually having the feel of like a our life as a reality show, like us showing everything that goes on in our life from the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like we want to show all of that, and um, yeah, just stay tuned. And another thing. Um... <coughs> We appreciate you guys for giving us ideas for the channel. If you guys can, just comment down below and please yes. let us know what ideas you guys would like to see. Because we have certain things that we think of doing content for the channel. And we're like, will they want to see it? 
Yeah, um, we just need it, a little bit more feedback. Are they interested in it? We just would like to see what type of videos you guys expect because we do see that our type, uh, our video, top videos is, of course, Americans trying snacks, different snacks from different and countries. And traveling. You guys love us traveling. Yep. So just let us know, other than those two, because we are trying to come up with more content for traveling, let us know. Um, and, of course, you know that we get snack crates every month. So. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Just let us know what you guys would like to see down in the comments, please. So we can go ahead and throw this content out for you guys. And I have one more request. If you're not following our Instagram page, I am. Um, we're both trying to work on being more consistent and interacting with more of our um, subscribers. As far as like, you know, if you guys have video ideas or um, just posting more on there. <coughs> Excuse me. So... If you're not subscribed to our Instagram page, lately I've been trying to get something up there every day. If mm -hmm. it's not like an interactive poll, just trying to get, you know, create some type of um, audience. So we want to, I'm not going to tell you what I'm thinking of, but we want to do something where we do something on our Instagram too. I haven't even talked to Deanna about it yet. I'm in a lot of like promoting things. So yeah, um, she does. If you guys like are in the promoting group that's watching this, she does a lot of that. I'm not the one that's doing it. Keys is doing like most of the promoting and on our secondary page. And I'm more so like, I actually got lazy within the past month or two, but I'm more starting to get in with the role of things and get into the grind of things. And yeah, she's, she's the one who's promoting you guys and I appreciate her for that. Um, and I'm also editing, that's my thing. I love to edit. I can't wait till we, uh, I was about to say so. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank yes. you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really am happy that we got a thousand subscribers. Um, it's only up from here. Yeah, it's only up from here. So we are out. Peace.